took my Zach out this uh, last weekend. Um, for those in the Chicagoland area, it was Fan Expo. The costume, I love the costume. Everything was fantastic. A little bit of here and there. It was the first time out. There was a couple of things I didn't like about it, but most of it was pretty good. Um, the things I hated the most, these are the belts I used, because they do kind of look like what they're supposed to, but um, lost a little weight since I put Zach together, so the belts didn't quite fit. Um, and then I'm like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm talking about it. I'm like, well, I made the whole thing, except for the shirt, the belts, and the boots. It's, that's three things I didn't make in the costume. It's a little too much. Um, so, so we're going to do belts. These are uh, Vincent's belt buckles, right? Um, and since we did Dante's, and they work fantastic, we're going to do the same thing. So I got a couple of belt blanks. We're going to cast a couple of these in zinc. I'm going to scavenge the little tongue from these for the, the belt. And uh, it's going to look fantastic. So let's get into it. So intros are weird, right? Sit there talking to a camera for, I don't know, who knows how long, about nothing really. Nothing you couldn't have gotten just by looking at the title. Title and description, that's my whole intro. But we're going to do zinc today. Because zinc I can do in the garage with the electric. Unfortunately, I did not clean up after my last uh, foray. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm just trying to scrape off all the um, really burnt stuff from the last casting. And the good stuff goes in the other bucket. I know, good stuff, that's in air quotes. The other bucket needs to be sifted. And I don't feel like fighting with it right now. So I figured since I'm doing Zach's buckles, I may as well do all of Vincent's as well. So I've got, because Vincent has um, these little covers that go over the edges of his stuff. If you do this every time and you take care, sand can last virtually forever. I'm not that delicate. So, you know, every couple of seasons I buy a new thing of sand. All right, riveting content. Listen to a guy scrape sand. All right, we pull you around and we'll uh, ram up a mold. So I got things kind of percolating over here. Oh, let me show you the, the buckle, right? Um, it's supposed to have this other piece here, but there's no way that, that I could cast that into there. Um, this has got negative draft which means I'm probably going to uh, cast it this way. When I flip it over, dig this channel out a bit. So when I put the other piece on, it, it, it gets that right angle. Correct angle, not right angle. Like I said, I've got just parting compound on these. It's kind of soaking in. Again, I'm just using parting compound. Baby powder. Any any form of talcum powder works really well. I just have actual uh, Teton um, parting compound. We're using brand new sand for the facing, and then just regular sand for everything else.
Now, a little parting compound, and uh, should be ready to go. Since it's the back side and I'm not terribly worried about it, we're using the rest of this uh, pre-used stuff. There's gonna, I'm not going to use any facing sand. Let's see what we got. A little bit of tear out right there. That's not the end of the world. It's not bad. Lost a little bit of that corner, but. That's the bulk of it, then that's not bad at all. We have to cut that out. It's not the end of the world. I'm okay with that. So I have to figure out where I want to pour. And I definitely want, now they're not vent holes, but I want, um, metal to flow into here in each of the corners let's go each of the corners and these might not be vent holes but i do use them as a gauge to uh see how well the cast went Now, we're going to do the rest with these, and uh, I'll see you once the furnace is on. So I'm going to be honest with you. I have all of Vincent's stuff set up and ready to go. And uh, I have sweat dripping down my face as I'm doing this. My garage is unair conditioned since I have um, the back where my uh, shop is my set, uh, there's no airflow. So it's just a room that's currently a, uh, it's 91 degrees outside. It's probably not 91 in here, but it might be. And I'm just not in the mood. So we're just gonna do um, Zach's buckles, see what happens. We'll figure it out from there. Next step is to uh, set up the, uh, the furnace here. So I absolutely love this stupid thing. It remembers the temperature I had it set at. That's not going to fit. We're going to start over. These are a bunch of pennies. I've already gone through all of these pennies. They're worth about a penny. You know what you're thinking? Pennies? I thought you said you were making these out of zinc. I am. Pennies? are mostly zinc with the lightest bit of copper coating on them. Since it's the US government, it's also a very high quality zinc. Cause you know, why wouldn't it be? Now we're just gonna leave this, let that temperature build. Set to 800, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So brass is copper and zinc, right? It's mostly copper with a little bit of zinc in it. Um, people who do brass castings, um, there's these weird little wispies that happen, right? And the white smoke that comes out that gives you uh, the zinc poisoning, it's highly toxic. It's, it's not a fun thing to be around, which is why I wear a respirator when I do um, brass. Um, but that's because to get the copper part of the brass to melt, 
the temperature has to be way above the boiling point of zinc so it flashes off this doesn't get that hot so I'm a little more lax with my um, safety gear when it comes to zinc don't do what I do always wear proper PPE protect yourself because nobody else is gonna protect you um, yeah but I'm, I'm not as worried about zinc as I as I should be take take that with take that as what you will so while we're waiting for that thing to heat up let's take care of the leather all I'm gonna do is bevel the edge fold it over punch the hole you know the usual making a belt so I'm just gonna take my edge beveler and run along the edge this might be a little more noisy than normal I have my door open I have a fan on I don't normally do those two things but uh, like I said, I'm sitting here drenched in sweat. I just got out of the shower and I'm already just coated in sweat. If I didn't love the Chicagoland area so much, I would think about moving. I like the measurements on this one. I like this size of a uh, opening or uh, overlap I mean so I'm gonna start by uh, truing up this edge and to do that I'm gonna use my largest curve bit just to give the edge a slight radius because I kind of like how that looks Punch through everything with the very last edge. I have these oval stamps. Really like these. These are kind of neat. Right? They're they're ovular, and it makes for a that's right, that's doing belts so much easier. Try and get as centered as I can, and hit it with a hammer. That way when it gets folded over, it's got a spot for the tongue to go. Oh. I really should have a cup of some kind over here. It would make my life a bit easier. Goodness knows, I'm not about making my life any easier. And I clamp it. I will deal with eyelets and holes and all that later. Right now I just wanted to get to this point. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other belt. You don't need to watch that twice. All right, we're at 800. Um, grab some classes. Let's do this thing. I don't want to pour over the tongs. back in there, shut that off, let it do its thing, I'll let it cool. The nice thing about zinc though, is it doesn't actually get hot enough to burn the sand, which is pretty neat. But we're going to let this cool. Um, this one has both holes filled in, this one I only see one. But there's smoke coming out of the other one. I said I'd do Vincent's little uh, keychain thing on the end of his, his uh, Cerberus. And uh, we'll see how that goes because that's super thin and delicate. But I'm going to let this all cool on its own. Give it about half an hour. See you in a minute. Give it half an hour. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking I was more patient than I actually am. That's what I was thinking. 
All right, let's start with Vincent. Hey, looks like a cast everywhere. Um, that's neat. I was a little worried about this one. Gonna be a bit more cleanup to this than I'd like, but that is what it is. Alright, so that gives me hope. Now let's see how the buckles came out. I'm, I'm hopeful about this one, eh, not so much about that one. Cross beam worked so far, so good. Hey, not bad. Looks like both of them came out. That's neat. A little bit of extra flashing I'm gonna have to cut off. But that's still not bad. I'm gonna say three good castings. Now for the easy part. Attaching the belt. I start by pulling this one off because I need this buckle. I know why not just use this belt? I don't like it. It's a, it's a decent belt. I think it's poorly made. Um, the materials aren't. I don't know. There's not their sold, soldier standards. Close the blade. Now the uh, the tongue on this is way larger than the one that was on this cast one. So I may have to adjust it a little bit. I think it'll work. So I did a 90 degree on this. Um, so it'd be easier to cast 
I need to go round that over. I will be right back. I'm just going to use a Dremel. It'll only take me a minute. So, got the belt on. Got the tongue on. Check that out. That is neat. I, I absolutely love the fact that I've figured out how to make belts. Um, I'm going to soak this for a bit, and then I want to clamp it so that it's a little tighter to the clasp. But other than that, we're about done. That's pretty neat. We'll see in a couple minutes. Your time, not my time. So in the end, this is where we're at. It's pretty neat. Um, I'm probably going to end up putting stitches and then stitches and then like a metal belt loop. So it gives that same um, appearance Vincent's do, does, did, has. Same, same appearance Vincent's has. Um, but, I mean, it's a huge difference going from one to the other. Here, check this out. Look at this. Right? I think it's fantastic, and it's in Final Fantasy Universe, and that's kind of the important part, right? Um, the belt still needs to be dyed black. Um, I'm probably going to polish this just a little more. Um, I'm going to source a metal ring to put onto there for a belt loop. But, I'm very, very happy with this. You need to be making belts. And every time Kim mentions, I want to do this castle, I'm like, does that character have a belt? Um, it's been unbelievably warm in the Chicagoland area. Uh, we had a really nice weekend, or a nice week. It was kind of tempid. And, and then it got really hot today. And I'm like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do my normal stuff today. But I got a lot of stuff set up. Next week's going to be real interesting. We're going to finish a project or two. Maybe something you're interested in. You know, you might want to think about, you know, liking and subscribing. Maybe share. It'd be nice. Um, either way, here's a couple other videos. We'll see you next time.